Hi everyone, how are you all? It's good to be talking to you again. Although you're maybe a bit fed up with me because we had a chat on Friday, didn't we? We were discussing that this is the start of a very special week, didn't we? Because it's random acts of kindness week. So I hope you've all been having a wee think about what you might be doing for somebody else. And today is quite a special day today as well. Sure there's something happening. Hmm. I can't think what it is. Sure something's happening today. Of course, it's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, everyone. Lots of love from me to you and all your families. Oh, well, seeing as it's Valentine's Day, what a brilliant day to kick off Random Arts of Kindness Week. Perhaps. There's something kind you can maybe do for somebody today, just as a little extra. Somebody that you love. Maybe, maybe somebody that you love might do something nice for you today as well. Something really nice happened to me this week. Millie and Lucy's mum shared a couple of pictures with me. The girls were really busy last Sunday and the helping hand wreath that were all part of the lesson last week. They made them and they're fantastic. So there's a couple of pictures here for you to see. For today's game, I thought you could perhaps play Arts of Kindness Charades. Do we all know what charades are? So it's when you have to not say anything and you've got to act something out and everybody else has got to guess what you're doing. Now people do it on books and films and songs, but we're doing it on acts of kindness, kindness and love. So for instance, have a guess what I'm doing for somebody else. Any ideas? Well, a lot of people might not see it as a kindness, but I was putting on a little show for somebody. Grown-ups love it when you put a show on for them. Or you can maybe do one on Zoom call or video chat or WhatsApp call to your grandparents or some of your friends or family. Better still, you and your friends can video chat and do one together. That would be amazing. Anyway, there's some suggestions on the next slide for you, but I'm sure you won't need to any suggestions for what kind things and loving things you could do for somebody this week. Well, there's no escaping it. Today is Valentine's Day. And normally you would know this because every time you walk into the shop, There'll be nothing but big red hearts and there'll be cards everywhere and presents everywhere and cuddly toys and boxes of chocolate. Just wanting us all to spend our money to show somebody that we love them. But we don't need to do that to show somebody we love them, especially this year. If you've been watching Assembly this week, you'll know that this is the start of Random Acts of Kindness Week. Which means that we should be having a wee think about what we're going to be doing this week to show kindness to somebody. And do you know what? It's the perfect day to start today. Because when you show somebody kindness, you're actually showing them. That's right, you're showing them love. Not the mushy, soppy kind that we see on the TV and in the films, but the kind of love that your grown-ups have for you and that you have for your grown-ups and for your friends and all your family. The love that you want to share, which is the same as God's love for us and our love for him. We all know what this is. It's right, it's a paper cup. Do you ever feel like a paper cup sometimes? 
Now you're all looking at the screen thinking, what is Donna talking about? This cup's good. It's quite strong. It's really not going to break very easily and it's quite useful. There's a lot of things you could do with paper cups, there isn't there? But there's just one problem with it. What's the problem? It's empty. There's nothing in it. There's a poem and the first lines go like this. A bell, not a bell, until you bring it. A song's not a song until you sing it. What can we say about a cup? A cup's not a cup until you fill it. That's right. So I've got my jug of water here. The jug's a little bit like God. And the water inside of it, just like his love. This is God holding all that love. Isn't that amazing? And when we pray to him and we talk to him, like I did this week, because I've been feeling a little bit like this, I really have been feeling a bit like this this week, a bit just empty and uninspired and just needing a little bit of love myself, I think. A wise one once said, love is not love until you give it away. So when we do talk to each other and do kind up and look after each other, some of that love comes and fills us up, isn't it? When you give away love, you get lots more than return, don't you? Exactly. Now I could drink all that, drink it all, and my cup could start emptying again. Plenty more to go around. God's got loads and loads to go around. And if I drop some and spill some, it doesn't matter. We all have little spills and mistakes along the way. You'll just keep pouring and pouring and eventually the cup will overflow. So now we're all filled up, full of love. How do we share that love around? Well, I'm going to pour some in here because I actually need a bit of a bigger vessel for this. So, what can we do? How can we show how God's love spreads? I know, I'm going to draw God. And I don't know what he looks like. So, to me, God is love. So, I'm going to draw a nice love heart. Can you all see that? Yeah. And who would I like to spread God's love to? My family, obviously. Um, who else? Sandy Club family. So I'm going to draw another little love heart. Uh, all our families and friends, because we're not seeing much of them. And maybe people that aren't doing so well. People that are not well or people that have lost somebody. Uh, maybe our school family because we're not seeing much of them at the moment, are we? So I've got lots of people on here that I would like to spread God's love to. God looks a, a bit empty at the moment as well, so I'm going to colour him in. How does that sound? And seeing as it's Valentine's Day, we'll make him red. So when you're out this week doing all your random acts of kindness, this is what you're going to be doing. Because every time you spread a bit of kindness, you're actually spreading love, aren't you? Not that mushy, yucky Valentine stuff, but pro true love, real love. Because you're doing something because you want to, because you care someday. So you're showing proper love for another person. There we are. All filled in now. Spreading up the paper. I've done it again. Spreading up the paper. All 
this love that he has for us. Can you see it? Oh, can you see what's happened to the heart, God's heart? All that love. It's moving up out of the heart and look, can you see? Look where it's going. It's heading straight for us. For all the people that we were worried about. For all our friends and our families. Look at that. It's covering everyone. God's love is spreading to us. And then we're letting it all oh, look at it go now. The more and more of us that want to spread love and kindness. See how fast it's going now. It's got all the way up to the people that are further away from us. And the people in the hospitals and that aren't well. And it just keeps going and going and going. Isn't that amazing? So here's a little maths formula for our maths lesson that might just help us answer these questions. So if the alphabet A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z is represented by the numbers from 1 to 26, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, then if we spell out the letters for hard work, what would the sum be? So for instance, the H would be 8. The H would be the number 8. Add up all our letters and see what percentage we get then. So hard work would be 98%. Not bad. What would knowledge add up to? Wow, knowledge is 96%. Let's try attitude. Whoa, attitude's got us all the way there, 100%. I wonder, how far would love of God take us? Whoa, amazing, 101%. So we can conclude with mathematical certainty that while hard work and knowledge will get you close and attitude will get you there, it's the love of God that will take you over the top. Fabulous. Welcome to God's world. Imagine faith is the world, it's the earth. This little bit of paper here is God's love. Do you think I can cut a hole in this bit of paper to go that will go all the way around the whole world? I don't think that's going to fit. Is it? I think it's going to fit. Can we see? I think God's love can do anything, so let's give it a try. So on our bit of paper, I'm going to write God's love. Let's give it a whirl. There it is. <clears throat> a chapter in the Bible. 
Corinthians 13 that talks about love. Christ explained to us that without love, we're nothing. And it tells us that we can say all the right things and think we're doing all the right things. But if we don't actually feel it down in here and we don't have love, it means nothing. It's a bit like a cup, empty, not being filled up. If we go out and we talk about God and we tell people all about him, but we're just saying it because we think it's the right thing to say and we don't really feel it down in here, then it means nothing. The verse in the Bible tells us that love, real love, never gives up. Love cares more for other people and other things than it does for itself. Love doesn't want what it doesn't have. It's not proud, it doesn't strut about. I really need to concentrate on what I'm doing here. Love doesn't have a big head. I think it's the bee's knees. And it doesn't always say, me first. Because it's kind. It's generous. It doesn't keep score when people have done something against us. It doesn't bear grudges. When people come to us to say they're sorry and apologise, it doesn't take pleasure in that. It forgives. Love puts up with pretty much anything. And you know all we have to do? Just trust God. Always look for the best in things, the best in people. Never look back. But keep going for as long as you live. Always look for the best. The best in people, the best in everything. Never give up. Because love is full of hope. Love endures. Love goes on and on and on, no matter what. Love will never end. God's love. is why we should never doubt it because now there's enough of God's love to go round and round and round the world so many times there's so much love to share in fact there's now so much of God's love that it goes all the way around me as well than a whole See? God's love. When you've got that, you can do anything. There's no job too small and there's no job too big and God really loves you. I think it's gone all the way around my chair as well. It has. I'm tied to the chair, folks. God's love is so big and so powerful that it can do anything. And there's so much of it. There's enough for you. You, me, all our families, all our friends, and everyone else in the world's family and friends. Pretty awesome. Today we're going to make this lovely love heart bandana if you wish. All you need for it is some paper, some scissors and some string or some wool and maybe some felt pens so you can decorate them. All you have to do is get your piece of paper. Now I find it's easier to put all my pieces of paper together and then if you fold it like a fan coming along and cut each one out by half because I don't know about you but I always get one side squiggly and the other side perfect. And then when you open it up, you'll have all your different love hearts. See? And you can make them all different sizes. Then you need to pop a hole in the top of them. I used a hole punch, but if you haven't got them, just ask your grown-ups to give you a hand. And then thread your string through or your wool through. 
Isn't that great? And then once you've done them, you can colour them in or write messages on them. Give them to somebody as a gift. Or just hang them in your room. You could even write a wee thing on them. Right guys, it's time to get off your feet. I'm, and I make no apologies about this, but we are going to dance in our pajamas. Yeah. 